Hi! Uh, scary movie in the TV. How about we draw a real scary drawing with a lot of blood and guts and gore? I feel really good about that. Let's do it. Please observe this drawing I already made. It is of a screaming guy who is a bit in agony because someone is shooting him right in his freaking face. So let's illustrate the rest of this drawing. I suggest figure out where that bullet is going. And it's probably flying in like this and we'll make some kind of impact here. And make some kind of fragments go out over here. So on the front we have some kind of velocity of stuff being ejected right here. And on the back side, similarly, we will have some stuff flying out. Let's see what we can do with that. As you can see, I've already started adding a bit of splatter from the blood. I, uh, I think we're gonna illustrate how the head is kind of missing here because that's where we're gonna do maybe some brain stuff and now I'm gonna just use this red pen and just illustrate a bit more of that blood that kind of explodes out of his face and so let's do some of these lines I'm gonna add some droplets later you can kind of see I've used this red color to um, make this blood but I think a good way to draw gore is to use a lot of different variations of red especially some more darker tones I feel like somehow it both gives some depth and it also gives more of a feeling like it's going from deep within this head dark blood is good and now that we have a bit of these kind of blood splatters I'm gonna do some droplets here. Then um, I suggest we go and grab a pink color and we draw something that looks like brain. Because uh, unfortunately this guy, he's not so lucky. His uh, brain is kinda all over the place. Flying here and there. And you know, the brain is a fragile thing. It's not solid, it's like a big blob. So that's what we're doing here. I think you you get what I'm talking about. Now that we have our splatters, we have our brain exploding. That's it for this head. I want to show you how I would do a body as well. So let's just jump over here. We're gonna do the same. We're gonna add a bit of gore. I'm imagining there's a big hole in his bowels and you will be able to see these intestines that are hanging out of him and here we are only considering um, maybe how a string would look like and how it would fold if you know what I mean according to gravity you would have maybe a string hanging like that another string hanging in the background of it it's like spaghetti and then you can layer them so they are hanging with the edge of a table, for example. And that's the same principle I'm doing here on this zombie guy. Um, just to illustrate his intestines, they will be hanging like this. And again, we're gonna layer some things in here. You can't really see what it is and it doesn't really matter because it's supposed to be just all over the place. And yet again, I'm gonna change the color value of my red color here. And I'm just gonna do some details in different colors. And again, that's gonna make it look a bit more messy, I think. So that's my idea of that. On the background here, we could add blood. It's flowing down, dripping, and just generally just, just make a mess of it. It's more fun if you just kind of throw in the colors, kind of see where it sticks. It works pretty well when you do it like this. It's gotta be a mess. It can only be a mess when there is a hole in someone's stomach. Um, yeah, could add some blood hanging from his face as well. Poor guy, I think he needs to go to the dentist. There's something wrong with his mouth. 
darker red is very good for this. Always think about gravity. Where is the blood flowing? I suggest you check out my other video on how to draw blood if you want to know more. I'll post a link down in the description for that video. Yeah. Zombie guy. Head exploding guy. Got a bit of both. I hope you can use it, what I've just shown you. It's just all about throwing in some colors and see how they stick around and it's good to be messy. So just don't be too precise, just throw it in there, up and down and consider gravity and where the droplets fly and maybe think a little bit about the anatomy of a human body. If you're doing zombies, for example. Get inspired, use Google, search around some pictures. While researching this, you could end up with some pretty nasty pictures. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave you to it. Let me hear in the comments if you have other ideas for future videos like this. Uh, I'll be happy to make even more. If you, just like me, love gore. See you next time.